hi guys hi people welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening depend on the place and the time where you for the watch me today my lovely and amazing people we still there for this father and baka mata our reverend father where we don't see where they don't release yesterday but we never know information of why they cannot him or they arrest him the reason why we won't see no but we never know but we will soon know but this video i get her for my facebook some people tell me say they never see this video where father mbakate support na de kalo so information now they come and say now when in make that speech and that comment now make the go carry him now we never know when i throw if not this video the video when me watch so i not see anything bad where for that talk inside that video everything where for that talk for that video not true but now my own opinion be that so you follow me watch this video too tell me if waiting for that talk inside this video not true now lie how you think how you see and what will be your own opinion drop down for the comment section and if you know the reason why all these things they go on now before you make this video the carrier or immediately make this video the carrier any information where you know i beg make you not forget to drop out for the comment station but I just visit some people with the same message say they won't see that video way for the back at the talk that's why the reason why i did share this video make you not foresee where for making your speech before he went missing so my people make you not follow me watch the video I beg if you never subscribe to my YouTube channel, make one not forget to hit that red button when you say subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, if I say thank you, God will bless you. Make one not forget to press the like button and notification button. So anytime we put any program, you will do among the first people we will come see. I beg my darling and amazing people, make one not forget to leave a comment down below. Make one share my video for me. I go see now for the next video. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. I don't know who is in the Kano. I have never seen him face to face. Look at my hand on the water again. But I want to tell you something. Wherever he is, may God bless him. Because if somebody has risen up to shout that his children, his brothers are suffering, is it a crime? May the Lord bless his courage. <laughs> what is happening is tear shedding, is heart rending, is nerve breaking. Is mind blowing. Can our security agents and leaders account for us how many ch children, how many Nigerians have died under one week, under one month? Students being kidnapped from the universities. And a, there is a leadership. No. Either they are involved in it or they should stop it. Or what is happening will stop them. So Buhari and Hope and Co. And those who want to fight. Before you begin to fight. Remember there was a time. God asked me to support your people. Now God asked me to withdraw. And prophesy against you. Listen, I repeat it again. Is it not shameful that the president of a country will be sick and there will be no hospital in his country to treat him and he will fly out? So if other Nigerians are sick, will they fly away? How? Do you have the money? So we are better and we should better die in Nigeria and the president should better fly out 
to treat himself. Eh. Can't they donate one or you block to our health facilities? Our doctors are they well paid? They are treated as toilet washers. Our medical experts, one of the best in the whole world. Go to America, go to London. The most respectful doctors are from Nigeria. Even during the time of Corona, it's Nigerian that they did Corona and we are treating people. We have all it takes. God has given it to Nigerians then why should our fellow Nigerians who call themselves leaders from the president down be meting out wickedness, evil, satanism in the name of leadership. What they call democracy. I said the democracy. We are here to run our democracy. What is happening now is democracy. They have raped our democracy. And if they're not careful and he continues like this and the president is calm, is he calm because his own child is not dead? Is he calm because his wife is still alive? Is he calm because those who are dying are not part of the Nigerians? Is he silent because he is dumb? Is he silent because he cannot talk? Is he silent because of what? Who asked Mr. President to be quiet in the midst of this evil that is going on? Shall it continue like this and we are watching? Let them give us opportunity to terrorize terrorism. I'm not a politician. I don't vote. During election time, I will be in the temple praying. Let God's will be done. I'm not God. So at this hour, the Isaac that think we die will not die. <laughs> if you have a list of those you want to kill, please, federal government, burn that sheet of paper. If you continue to kill these boys, you will suffer what you cannot control. Killing is not an alternative. Stop stealing our wealth. Thieves should be killed. And if you look deeply, our leaders today are thieves. Okuakarikwaramadu. Is that how they are going to meet up? Is that how they are going to meet up? When one leader has how many houses in Enugu, how many in, in Abuja, how many in Dubai, how many in London with our money? How, why can't they use this money to build industries for our youth? If they want to continue to steal, let them steal. But let them use the money to build something for the children of God to work with. Whether you are Islamic or Christian, it doesn't matter. Give the people jobs. You can mess up their youthful time. God is not happy with you. Our leaders, God whom I am serving is not happy with you. If you want to attack me, go ahead. But listen to the message. God is not happy with you. And if you want to attack, your end will come. By the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. You are saying, what is my business? People who are calling me father, father, father. Which means they are my children. If my children are crying, if my children are being killed, if I am passing by and see blood of my children on the highway, even the police people, all these young men who are dying in Imo, they are my children. So a father of my stature, 25 year old in this priestly work, sleepless nights, 
25 years of everyday fasting. How yes, I will eat once in a day for 25 years. Then I cannot talk. Who are you? What contribution have you made in Nigeria more than me? Apart from that, you are a, a criminal. You are the criminals. You are the terrorists. You have terrorized the peace in the country.